What am I showing people again? Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to post a tweet using Swift 2 with Xcode 7. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we're going to do is open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. Click next, and then we're just gonna name the product name. I'm gonna call this pretty much anything you want, and I'm just gonna call this Twitter. Of course, this would be inside of your own application, but either way, this works the same way for every application. So let's go ahead, create. And now let's make this a bit bigger and head right over to our main.storyboard. Now inside of here, we want to add a button. So let's just go right down here and click and drag a button onto our scene. And now we have this button. Let's go ahead, right click or control, click and drag from that to our view and we're going to say center vertically center horizontally and that is that so just return that and now we have this button so when we click this button we want it to bring up that generic tweet thing that we see on ios 7 or ios 8 9 and so on and so forth so we want to bring that up so let's go ahead open up our assistant editor and inside of here we're just going to right click or control click and drag from this button over to our view controller swift we want to make the connection type an action now basically when this is clicked we want something to happen so we're just going to call this our tweet action. You can of course call this whatever you want. Let's go ahead and connect that. Now inside of here, this is where we're going to program everything that brings up our little tweet sheet per se, and then we can write stuff and send it off to twi our Twitter account. So in order for us to do this, we need to first import a framework. So let's go right up here, right underneath our UI kit and just say import social. So this will import the social framework and that allows us to utilize Twitter and Facebook and other social media networks. And now we have that social framework imported, we need to go down here to our tweet action and we just need to test something. So we're gonna say if our SL compose view controller like this dot is available per service and then we want it to be a service type. This will be SL service type Twitter. So this will allow us to bring up that generic tweet sheet. So essentially the tweet sheet is going to be this SL compose view controller. So we need to go down here and then right after this, we just say, if this is all true, then we can go right down here. And inside of this, we want to run a few things. Now, what do we want to do in here? So we're going to bring up that tweet controller that we built. So let's just go down here and say, let tweet controller equal and we're going to make this equal to an sl compose view controller and then open parentheses we're going to say for the service type and inside of this we want our sl service type twitter so essentially what we're doing here we're testing that okay we can use our twitter account our twitter account is hooked up to the iphone and inside of here we're creating our tweet controller and then we can add to this tweet controller so we can go right down here and say tweet controller dot set initial text so essentially this is going to be the initial text sa that says I scored blankety blank on this app. Now, if you actually wanted to integrate a score into this, this is just a quick side note, you can go right up here, take your score, I'm just gonna say var score is equal to, let's say 45, and then right down here inside of your tweet controller, you can go right inside of the text and say I scored, and then just say slash parentheses, and we inside of this, we're going to type in score. So this will convert our integer over to text, and then that'll be set to our tweet controller. And then we now need to present this view controller. So we're gonna say self.presentViewController. We wanna present the view controller, our tweet controller. Animated, we're gonna set this equal to true. And completion, we don't want anything to happen upon completion, so we're going to set this equal to nil. So that's great. We have that all set up, but what if we don't have any Twitter account hooked up onto our iPhone? Well, this is what we need to do. We need to create an else statement. So this else statement will be, okay, if we don't have a Twitter account hooked up to this iPhone, then we wanna do this other thing. And basically we want to create an alert that's a notifying the customer that they are not hooked up to their Twitter on their iPhone and if they want to they can head over to the settings and fix that. So right down here we're going to create our alert. So say let alert equal and we're going to make this equal to our UI alert controller and inside of this we're going to say open parentheses we're going to give it a title, a message, and a preferred style. So the title I'm just going to say accounts. That means something is wrong with our accounts. The message of this, we're just gonna say, please log into your Twitter, like so. And then our preferred style, we're just gonna set this equal to a UI alert controller style dot, and we're just gonna make it an alert. Essentially, that means it's going to pop up on the screen like any normal alert. And then after this, we wanna add some actions onto our alert. So we need to say alert dot add action, and we're going to add the action of a UI alert action, and then open parentheses, 
we're just going to give it the title of quotation marks and inside of this we're going to say okay so okay we understand that there's an error and then that'll just get rid of the alert message and they can do whatever they want afterwards the style of this is just going to be ui alert action style dot default so essentially when we press this it's just going to go away like any normal alert and then our handler we just don't want anything to happen so just say nil and then now we also need to add another action that will take us over to our settings so essentially this is just going to be alert dot add action and we're going to add the action did i ever start recording okay <laughs> and we're going to add the action of a ui alert action and then open parentheses our title will be settings as we want people to click this and it's going to head over to the settings our style will be a ui alert action style dot default so again it's going to handle it the same way but in the handler itself we want it to do something so what do we want to do we want to send it over to our settings app so in order for us to do this we just need to go right inside of this handler and it's expecting a variable so we just need to say parentheses and inside of this this will be ui alert action and then after this we're just going to say in so essentially this is going to handle this as an ui alert action and anything inside of this it's going to run it so we can say let settings url because when you're accessing other parts of the application they have a specific url for all the apps so we're saying let settings url equal and we're going to make this equal to ns url open parentheses and this will be a string value and the string value will be our ui application open settings url string so this is essentially the url that connects it to our, our settings application and then we can just test this and we're going to say if let url equal we're going to make this equal to our settings url open curly bracket close curly bracket and inside of this we just want to say ui application dot shared application dot open url so we're going to open the url that we just created and we're just going to set this url equal to this url right here essentially that's the same thing as our settings url but that's the way you have to do it if you're doing it inside of an if statement so we're just setting it to that url now last thing before we build and run this application we need to first go down here and present our view controller so we're going to say self dot present view controller and then we're going to present the view controller of our alert, our animated, we're going to set this equal to true and completion will be nil. And that shows no errors. So we're going to go ahead and build and run this. So now that it's all loaded up, but before we actually click this button, I'm first going to show you what happens when we don't have our Twitter account hooked up. So let's head over to our settings, go down here to Twitter, and we're going to go right down here and just log out of our account like so. And now if we were to head over to our app again, we can just go to our tweet app. So if we were to click this button now, we will say accounts, please log into your Twitter. Now you can click OK, that just dismisses it. Or you can click on the button again, we can click on settings, and that'll take us over to our settings application. Now normally it would just actually take us to this main screen, but because we were there last, that's where it's going to take us. But in any sort, let's log into our Twitter, just go over to our username, this will be Architap, and then our password i'm not going to tell you my password and now we are logged in so if we click on this button right here it'll bring up i scored 35 on this app and you could just click post and that'll post it onto twitter and there you have it i scored 35 on this app Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, I will see you in the next one.